The king called the eunuch to him. He was his most trusted servant, but at first the king was embarrassed even with him. Artaxates saw that he was blushing deeply and had something to say. Sir, he said, what are you hiding from your slave? I am your friend and I can hold my tongue. What is this terrible thing that has happened? I am worried in case some plot, a plot, yes, cried the king, a massive plot, but laid by God, not by human beings. I heard what love is like before now in stories and poems. I heard that he is master of all the gods, even of Zeus. But all the same, I did not believe that anybody could be more powerful than me at my own court. But the god is upon me. Love has taken up residence in my heart, in his power and violence. It is hard to confess, but I am truly his prisoner. As he said this, he was overwhelmed by a flood of tears and could say nothing more. But despite this silence, Artaxates knew at once the source of his wound. Even before this, he had heard his suspicions and had seen the fire smoldering. Besides, it was clear beyond any shadow of a doubt that with Calerho there, he would not have fallen in love with anyone else. Still, he pretended not to know. What beauty can overcome your heart, sir? He said. Everything beautiful is enthralled to you. Gold, silver, clothing, horses, cities, people. You have countless beautiful women. Why, Tatira is the most beautiful woman under the sun, and she is yours alone to enjoy. When you can have whatever you want, that overthrows love. Or has some goddess come down from heaven? Has a second Thetis risen up from the sea? For I am sure that even gods yearn for your society. What you say may be true, replied the king. But this woman may indeed be a goddess. Her beauty is superhuman. But she says she is not. She claims she is a Greek from Syracuse. And that suggests that she is deceiving us. She is trying to avoid being shown up in not naming any city in my empire, but rather setting her story beyond the Ionian Sea, far across the ocean. She has come to attack me under cover of a trial she is the one who has stage-managed this whole drama, but I wonder how you can call Tatira the most beautiful woman in the world when you can set your eyes on Calerho. Well, we must think of some way to rid me of my distress. Look everywhere to see if it is possible to find some remedy. It exists already, your majesty, said Artaxates. Among Greeks and non-Greeks alike, this remedy you are looking for. The only remedy for love is the loved one. That, after all, is what the famous oracle said. He who hurt shall heal. The king was greatly embarrassed by what he said. Don't suggest any such thing that I should defile another man's wife, he said. I am mindful of the laws I have established and the justice I practice among all men. Don't ascribe such lack of control to me. I am not as far gone as that. Artaxes was frightened. He felt he had spoken rashly and changed his approach to words of praise. These are truly noble thoughts, your majesty, he said. Do not heal love's wound as other men do. Apply another remedy, one worthy of a king. Wrestle with yourself, for you and you alone can master even a god. Divert your own mind, then, with pleasures of all kinds. You are extremely fond of hunting in particular. Indeed, I know you can go without food or drink all day when you are hunting. You like it so much. Better to spend your time hunting than in the palace close to the fire.